Now we are here with another video of differences. Passive absorption versus active absorption. Point number one. Active absorption of water utilizes metabolic energy. But passive absorption utilizes solar energy. Point number two. In active absorption, water is absorbed by the roots. Roots have an active role. But in passive water is absorbed through the roots. Roots only have passive role. Point number three. In active absorption, the water is absorbed by osmosis and non-osmosis method, along or against the DPD gradient. In passive absorption, water is absorbed as a result of tension created by the transpiration pull. Point number four. Active absorption involves symplast, protoplast, movement of water. Passive absorption involves apoplast, non-living part. Movement of water through free spaces. Point number five. In active absorption absorption is independent of transpiration while in passive absorption it is dependent on transpiration. Point number six. Active absorption takes place when the water level is high in the soil. Passive absorption usually takes place when the water level is low in the soil. Point number eight. Active absorption produce positive pressure in the xylem canals. While passive absorption produce negative pressure in the xylem canals. Point number nine. In active absorption absorption rate is comparatively slow while in passive it is comparatively fast. Point number 10. Active absorption can be quickly inhibited by metabolic inhibitors or toxins. But passive absorption cannot. Point number 11. Active absorption can be subdivided into active osmotic and active non-osmotic, but passive absorption does not have such a classification. Thank you all once again for watching. Please subscribe us for more videos. Keep watching. Keep supporting.